Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Churn Farms. Uh, this is the 24 Day Seasons uh, Let's Play, and uh, we are in day 9 of spring. And uh, we are now in mid-spring, and as you can see, uh, compared to uh, yesterday, which was day 8 of early spring, uh, we now have some foliage uh, coming out here on the trees. We've got uh, spring colors uh, here on our trees and on our shrubs and bushes. Let's go ahead and... Uh, get a nice clear picture of everything here. I'll try to... this tractor doesn't let you zoom out too far, but uh, we'll take a little look around once we can uh, fire up GPS and not have to worry about making straight lines. We're over here on uh, field 30... Uh, I think this is 31. Um, it's either 31 or 34. It's uh, the flatter of the two fields. Uh, the other field that we were uh, plowing on the other day, or that we had our helper plow on, is uh, directly behind us. Uh, that field, uh, when we get back around to it, it is incredibly steep uh, on one part of the field. In fact, uh, I think this plow was probably doing about three mile an hour uh, when it was trying to climb the grade, uh, even without the plow up. I mean, even with the plow up, it was it was bogging down something pretty serious. So. Uh, we have finished our potato planting, and uh, the potatoes are in the ground. And um, now we are actually we've got our hired helper over um, cultivating field 19, getting ready to put uh, barley in that field. Uh, so we will probably be, be uh, planting uh, as as early as tomorrow, uh, day six or day 10 of uh, mid spring. So we have. Uh, basically, come tomorrow, we have 14 days of spring left uh, to plant all of our fields and uh, get them up to uh, up to a third state of fertilization. So, I noted it was rather interesting. Uh, if you recall, we kept the cedars that uh, came with the map, and we kept the cultivator that came with the map. And interesting enough, and I don't know if this was by design uh, by the map author or if this just so happens to have worked out this way, but all three of those implements, the two cedars and the cultivator, are uh, six meter work widths. So we can, uh, we can set up one course for course play and basically use it for all three of those implements, uh, which is rather convenient. Uh, it also means that we could, in theory, have uh, have a guy working the field with a cultivator, and have somebody working the same field with the uh, cedar, and not have to really worry about uh, the cedar and the cultivator uh, kind of running on top of each other. So we're going to uh, go ahead and fire up. This looks to be fairly straight. We're going to go ahead and fire up GPS and uh, bring our HUD back so we can see what we're doing. And we'll get a new course laid in. And uh, we will just, uh, this is 10 meters, I think. Well, if it's not, we'll just make it 10 meters. And uh, we'll just uh, set up, uh, set that up, so that we can kind of just look around here at the uh, the sites. Let's hide our hut again. Of Churn Farm here, where this field itself isn't. It's got a kind of a grade to it, a slope. Uh, thankfully, we're just plowing uh, against the slope, if you will. But if you look at this field behind us, uh, you'll see it drops off and uh, keeps on dropping all the way down to the road there and uh, climbs all the way up so it has quite the grade 
uh, as far as uh, plowing would go. And it's going to be a rather interesting field to uh, harvest uh, when it comes harvest time. Let's go ahead and uh, bring this up. Go ahead and catch this a little bit. And then we'll start making uh, up and down runs. Oh, there's our green, our lighthouse. Uh, now that the clouds have rolled in a little bit, we can see our lighthouse beaming over there. It's rather interesting. You probably saw that little notice about the uh, hired worker finishing their job. Uh, every time I do the HUD hide, uh, which I have set up as uh, Control H. Uh, sometimes when I do that, it hires a worker. Let's get this going. Let's go ahead and check the forecast. Uh, we can see all the way up to day 16 of spring. So that would carry us into uh, um, late spring, I believe. Uh, so we've got... Uh, 41 degree ground temperature still. Uh, hopefully, based on our uh, air temps, we'll get a ground temp above uh, above 50 is what we need uh, to do our our planning of our. Let's go ahead and check that. Yeah, we need above 50 to do soybeans and corn. Uh, we are going to be putting canola in on this field, I believe. Uh, let's just check. Uh, this is field 34. So this field is getting corn, actually. Canola is going to go in the big field over there, the steep field. And uh, as I said, we have our worker working over on um, field 19 cultivating. And that field will get barley. So let's, uh, let's just speed up time. and uh, Not time, but uh, let's just speed up the, uh, the clock here. And let's do a little uh, power plowing, if you will.
Alright guys, we are nearly done this field and uh, didn't take too terrible long. Let's go ahead and uh, unhide our HUD here. And, uh, oops, un unhire the worker. Oh, it's back up. Uh, we obviously don't need GPS for this last little bit. And it is uh, 2 in the afternoon. So it did not take too terrible long. It didn't take all day, that's for sure. And uh, this is the last field that we have to plow. So we are not going to have to plow for three game years unless we uh, buy a field. So we are actually going to take this plow straight to the shop and get rid of it. We don't need it sitting around, taking up space or anything. Uh, so let's go ahead and fold that on up. Let's take a look at the map here and look at the fields that we all own. Uh, so we own 7, 9, 14, 20, which is all grass, 28, 15, 19, 17, 18, 31, and 34. So all the fields that we own, uh, as you can see, they're all fertilized and they are all plowed. So we won't need to be plowing any more anytime soon. So. Uh, Let's see here. Let's try to figure out what's the best way to get to the shop. So I guess the best way to get to the shop is to go this way and uh, make our way around. So uh, we really haven't done a map tour on this series. Uh, I did a map video uh, several months back on this map. Uh, we've got a tavern here, which is a buy point. Oh, there's our buy point for eggs. Well, we've got some eggs. Let's go ahead and... Uh, Let's go ahead and sell some of these. Alright, $552 in eggs. Uh, but this is also a buy point for, uh, I believe, grain, maybe barley only. Alright, let's see here. Let's, let's get on out here. Let's get on the proper side of the road for this uh, map. And uh, we'll make our way around here. Uh, the BGA is right here to our right. So if you're liking what you're watching here on this map, or on this video, or on the series, and uh, you're interested in getting a proper uh, kind of tour of the map, uh, please look up the uh, the map video I did. Now let me show you. That's the field we just planted or just uh, plowed. Okay, it's got some terrain to it. Now let me show you this plow this field over here. Uh, this field over here is we're going to be putting uh, canola in. And uh, take a look at that beast. I mean that is some steep terrain. Uh, it really doesn't really give you a, a good idea there. But uh, that is some very steep terrain. Very difficult plowing, very difficult working that field. Uh, it's going to be rather interesting uh, pulling a combine up that hill and uh, working with uh, a tipper full of grain. So while we're coming around here, we might as well go... Uh, and uh, check out our worker and see how they're faring along. And uh, I may have been driving on the wrong side of the road again. Uh, sorry about that. Like I said, it's a very, very hard habit to uh, to get out of. So there we are. There's our. Just uh, kind of stop here and go take a look. So can we jump up? Do we have the leap? Do we have the vertical leap to jump up here on the... Uh, uh, we don't look like we do. Oh, well. Let's run around here and uh, check on our worker. Just see the progress they're making. Over here on the field. So uh, they are over here cultivating this field. 
It's a pretty big field. Like I said, we're gonna put uh, we're gonna put barley in this one. There they are, off in the distance, making their uh, turn. They're gonna be in here for quite a while, cultivating. Uh, so, like I said, we're done planting or plowing. I'm sorry, we're done plowing. Uh, next stage is cultivating and uh, fertilizing our uh, our fields that we're going to plant in corn and uh, sunflowers, and then we're going to uh, the cedar that we're going to use for all the other crops uh, also uh, fertilizes. So what we're going to do is we're going to go take this back to the shop and uh, sell the plow. Then we're going to buy up a uh, trailer. And uh, we're going to buy up a bunch of pallets of, uh, of uh, crates of seed. And um, a couple crates of fertilizer so that we can get to, uh, get to seed. And, uh, we'll start on field 19, uh, basically right behind our... Uh, our cultivator and uh, we'll seed uh, while uh, they cultivate and uh, we're just going to do more of the same kind of like what we did with the manure spreader and the plowing uh, we will uh, they will be working one field ahead of us uh, during the entire process and uh, at that point all of our crops will be at three stages of fertilization except for our potatoes and our sunflower and our cornfields uh, will come in at a later date with a spreader and uh, spread fertilizer on those fields to get them up to three. Let's uh, roll this on in here. To our dealer. See if we can't back this up. Great demand for potatoes. We just planted potatoes, but uh, we don't plan on selling too many of them. We're going to use those for our uh, for our pigs. Uh, that's right. We're going to buy pigs at some point um, here. So I'm going to go ahead and jump on into the shop and uh, see what they'll get us for this plow and. Uh, Get ourselves, uh, order us up a trailer and a couple crates of seed. All right, guys. So we got seventy-four thousand for that plow. We got a really good, uh, we got a really good price on that plow back, and uh, we bought ourselves up this uh, this Smith trailer. Uh, it actually has ramps here, uh, so we can actually use this to uh, transport uh, small machinery uh, if we need to. Uh, it's got uh, the wide agri tire set up on it, so uh, we won't be uh, too terrible bad on our field when we're driving around. And uh, we went ahead and uh, had them bring out for us eight uh, crates of seed. Uh, so each of these has 1,675 liters of seed in it. And then we went ahead and bought um, six big bags of fertilizer, solid fertilizer. Uh, these have a thousand liters of fertilizer in each one um, and we need to load up our trailer and this particular tractor doesn't have front loader arms uh, so we're going to actually have to run over and swap tractors uh, with our hired help uh, so that we can uh, get these things loaded up so let's uh, run on over here and uh, see about uh, switching with her Once again, I think I was driving on the wrong side of the road. This is going to be a problem with me on this map for probably the entire duration of the play. So uh, I'll be, we're not going to, you don't need to stay here with me while I drive over there and uh, bring back the other tractor. So uh, next time we get together, we will uh, we'll be back at the, uh, we'll be back at the shop. Hey guys, so we have uh, made our swap, and it is uh, heading into evening here. Uh, we've got two of our crates loaded up. I thought I'd go ahead and uh, load up a couple crates with you. 
uh, just to prove that uh, we're doing this all by hand. Uh, the particular trailer that we have is not auto load capable, uh, so we can't. Uh, no shortcuts here with our 24 day seasons. We are manually loading these things. Uh, we're going to be manually loading. Let's go. Come on. We'll just pick this one up. I uh, probably won't want to unload. I didn't have any issue loading the uh, the two crates that we've got loaded there. But now that we're doing this on camera, I probably won't want to do it. So we'll load up a couple here, and uh, then we'll load the rest up. And that'll probably be the game day. And uh, we'll probably come back and... Uh, get started our seating tomorrow so this, our forks are a little bit wider than our uh, than our crates are so we're, we're gonna give them a little bit more room but we only bought half of the seed that we need for the season I've gone through and with course play, uh, figured up. Come on, unload. There we go. Whoa. So I figured up with course play how much seed we're going to need uh, to uh, plant our crops. And uh, basically, we're going to need 16, I think, pallets or 16 totes of seed. Uh, we bought eight totes. So once we get these loaded up, we'll basically be able to uh, to seed through half of the uh, get halfway through our seeding. And we've got uh, six, as I said earlier, six bags of uh, of fertilizer. I'm not really sure how much fertilizer we're going to need. Uh, because we will be putting some fertilizer in our cedar uh, as we are planting our wheat and our barley and our uh, canola and our grass. But uh, come on. But as we uh, switch over to our row crop cedar, uh, it does not uh, fertilize, so we'll need to come through at a later date and. Uh, I bet you you're stuck. Yeah, so you're stuck on there. All right, guys. Well, I will. Uh, like I said I'll deal with this off camera, and uh, game day tomorrow we'll have these loaded up. And uh, come on, we'll have these loaded up and back at the main farm. And tomorrow we're gonna be. Finish up, finishing up the cultivating on field 19, and uh, probably starting our seed. Starting our seed tomorrow. So, till next time, guys. Happy farming.